Parks is the association aimed at promoting global inclusion through LGBT inclusion. We've interviewed Igor Shuran, Executive Director of Parks, to understand why it is important to work on LGBT inclusion in the work environment and to be aware of our biases. Igor Shuran will help us understand what kind of goals an association of companies can reach by sharing best practices and changing corporate culture together. But what is Parks? Parx Libere Uguali, which in Italian means free and equal, is Italy's only non-profit association of employers engaged in the promotion of LGBT inclusion in the workplace. It currently has nearly 40 member companies operating in Italy, both international and Italian, both large multinationals and small medium firms. They all represent excellence in their industrial or services sectors as well as excellence as regards diversity management and inclusion in the workplace, also for their LGBT employees. What kind of social biases prevent LGBT people from taking part in society equally? Each of us does not necessarily have an opinion on nuclear fusion. Well, I believe that many of you actually do. But we all do have an opinion on gay, lesbian, bisexual and transgender people. These opinions come from our past, traditions, experiences and beliefs. Gay men are often depicted as effeminate and unmanly, lesbian women as not feminine enough, bisexuals as those that still need to make a choice in life, and transgender people as neither complete men nor complete women. We often see our model of family as the model and fail to recognize that same gender families have just the same needs as we do, that of love, protection, stability and projectuality. We often fail to recognize that people of same gender may be bound by love just as we are and not only by passion and desire. We see our lives as a very serious matter while what LGBT people create is often seen not so much as a life but more as a lifestyle. But we all have both lives and lifestyles, whether we are gay or straight, cisgender and transgender. In the workplace, LGBT professionals are often seen as lacking the sense of responsibility and as not being leader material. Because others would not be likely to respect them, accept them as leaders and follow them. I often quote, one single word as the triumph of bias. The word is ostentation. We may all be accused of ostentation of wealth or knowledge, but only LGBT people are accused of ostentation of their lives. And that hurts. If we are aware of these biases, what can we observe around us? Let's wear our awareness glasses. Let us put on our awareness glasses. What do we observe now around us? Where in the past, we observed colleagues that never shared anything with the rest of us during the coffee break on Monday morning, and we thought that they didn't have a life or did not see us as worthy of hearing about their weekend. Now, with our new glasses, we shall maybe ask ourselves if our colleagues aren't telling us anything because they're afraid of our reaction if we learn that they are gay or lesbian. We may now perhaps understand that they could not find a way to participate in our chat without trespassing the psychological barrier between silence and exposure to judgments. We shall, with our glasses on, observe that the little jokes that we usually say at a coffee break are not as innocent as we want to believe but that they may represent homophobic or transphobic offenses in the ears of even only one person listening. A person that is perhaps smiling like all the others, but that is deeply offended and hurt, and now even more assured that it is safer to be silent about their life. What kind of activities do you promote? On one side, Parks offers advice on equalization of human resources policies, norms and benefits, and on the other side, sessions of training and education 
aimed at the creation of an inclusive culture in the workplace. We are running an annual LGBT diversity benchmark for businesses in Italy to help them measure and compare their level of inclusiveness. We help them with their internal employee satisfaction surveys that reflect questions also on LGBT inclusion. We help companies organize diversity days and other internal events for the promotion of LGBT inclusion. Our member companies provide a most valuable network for sharing of knowledge and experiences. Finally, our key annual event is the LGBT People at Work conference in which businesses, institutions, media, universities and foreign guests discuss recent achievements and define challenges for the future, for a more inclusive workplace and a more inclusive society.